congregate. Ha! The churches can't congregate bars. Um, and, and, and therefore, they also doing their own apps now, their own, their own uh, streams of their own platforms and subscribing. Mm. So you can subscribe, subscribe. And, 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 and what I'm saying is it's not going to be in, in a year's time. Everybody will have an AKA TV because that's how I roll. I'm always doing the shit first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. people also need to see, yo, can this thing work out? If, if can AKA pull this thing off? And when I do pull it off, people will be like, yo, that's the move. That's where we need to go. And I'm telling artists right now, and I'm telling the public right now, like, you can't survive. You're not going to be able to survive off Instagram. You're not going to be able to survive off Twitter. You're not going to be able to survive off just putting your, just doing them stupid joints on TikTok. You're not going to, that shit is not going to fly. You know, yeah. you're not going to be yeah. able to survive off just doing battles. Hey, let's do a versus battle, versus, versus, versus there has to be some sustainability and there has to be a, a, a real thought out process behind how we're going to replace all that money that we've lost uh, by not being able to stand on the stage. I guess, you know, the answer also for everybody is not like AKA TV, but I think the answer is ownership. You know what I mean? It's, um, yeah. you can, for you, that literally works because that's where you are. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, when the guys are doing the battles, whether it's the... the what? How do they do that? that? I'm... Uh, what? Stick it out west. Bring it out west. You know, you, you, that is the era we're in right now. But you, that shit is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. To, uh, we can't battle each other every week. There's not enough brands to put money behind a new... Like, after we're done with the battles, now what? Mm -hmm. I mean, more than anything, it's ownership of IP. You know what I mean? It's knowing how to take this idea and license it to wherever you got to take it. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's um, ownership, talk man. It's ownership. We, we, we got to own. We, we can't just keep giving Mark Zuckerberg and Mang Mang all, all our content. Anybody who wants to take anything, any artist or whatever, if they ever see this video, this interview, the one thing to take away is content is everything right now. Your content is your, your everything. Do not throw your content away. Do not throw your content away for free. Do not drop one video do not drop anything do not even uh even your tweets don't tweet because you can people you see the thing is i was i went completely quiet since this quarantine started right absolutely dead quiet and what did it do it made people want want to know what what, what am i thinking what am i doing so it's like i don't know if you know about the cola wars back in the in the 90s right coca-cola and pepsi so what happened was um, Coca-Cola and Pepsi were like, you know, trying to be the top dog. And then Pepsi started kicking their ass. And then uh, Coca-Cola said, yo, we've got a big announcement to make. We're going to change the formula of Coke. We're calling it New Coke. And we're taking the traditional Coke that was on the shelves for 100 years. We're taking that off the shelves. And we're dropping this brand new thing. It's called New Coke. So when New Coke dropped, everybody was like rebelling against it. Like, oh, man, how could you take our Coke away from us? And it ended up making people more excited and more, more proud and more patriotic and, and, and made them love Coca-Cola more than ever. And Coca-Cola then said, all right, we're bringing Coke back. Now, people say Coke did this on purpose to make people miss. So, so the point I'm trying to make is if you miss something, when it comes back, then it, it's going to be harder and more loved and more celebrated than ever. And that's what I, I think people need to do. They need to kind of pull themselves away a bit so that people can, can, can whatever interaction they have with them, it's of, of a higher quality every time they interact with that artist. So you understand my name about Coca-Cola, yes? Scarcity creates, creates, creates a demand, essentially. Scarcity creates demand. And... Yeah, I thought my story was pretty cool, but anyway. Yeah, I'm summing it up. But look yeah. it up, look it up. Go read about, go read about New Coke. Yeah. No, I understand. No, I mean, I understand that. I mean, we yeah. saw just, you could be a case study on your own. Twitter was literally like sending you your flowers, you know, um, in the last week or so, you know. They're sending you a bunch of flowers, just how much they appreciate you. And everybody was just writing about you like you'd passed away, you know what I mean? So, you yeah. know, um, yeah. which, yeah. Is, which was good energy. That's 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 kind of crazy because if, if if you if you keep 
if you keep tweeting and you keep giving people and you keep giving people in this era, look, if, if it was back in the days when we could still be like go outside and shit, like then, then I suppose it's fine because then you can come see me in person or you can see me here and see me there. But right now, this is the only way you can interact with me. So why, why would I, why would, why would I want to give you, why would I want to give you, give you more, give you more of the thing that I'm trying to sell you? Does that make sense? Mm, so, so if this is if this is if this is what we're selling now, we can't get you. I can't give you this no more for free. Then yeah. Then. yeah. I think you said something earlier on. You said you know you put out some of your own money for this venture of yours, uh, the AKA TV venture. How different is this from Beam Group and what you were doing initially there? Oh, Beam Group. Oh, fuck, fucking Beam Group. Hey, fuck. I forgot about that whole era. <laughs> um, <laughs> you were you were part of it, by the way. You you were what, part an era, of it. what an what an era that was. Yeah, look, we made touch my blood during that era. I started my own company. I lost a lot of money during that time, but what I did gain was a you lot of experience. You launched the album on a helicopter. Yeah, carry you on. You understand? I mean, we we spent a lot of money, and I lost a lot of money. But um, how different is it from from that era? I, I would say this this is a completely different time. You know. Could you even conceive something like this quarantine that we're in right now? You couldn't even imagine it, right? So I think mm. it's difficult to 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 compare the two eras uh, because it's just such a different landscape where we're at right now. But the one thing that is similar is definitely ownership. Um, what else is similar? I've, the, the music that I'm making, you know, every time I come up with new music, um, I'm always like, yo, this is the best music I've ever made. True to form, I'm saying it again. Like the new shit that I'm gonna drop, this is the best shit that I've ever made. And, I heard and, it. I, I've heard it. By the way, it is the best bad. shit that I've ever made, bro. It really it is. is. And last time you, I said this is the best shit that I ever made. Who like nah, nah, now nah, like, you know, touch my. I never body. said it's the best shit you ever made, but I think that for anyone that literally is doubting you, musically. Uh, but uh, musically, I can never be doubted. It's only, it's only in my character, you know, and the things that I do. Yes, I fucking make mistakes. I fuck up. I say things sometimes I shouldn't say. So what? Like what? Like what? Like, like what? Like what? Just a, couple, just a couple things, you know. I don't, you know. I, I think it's bad that I, 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 I you know, I, I regret cussing the the dudes, you know, parents out. I don't think I should have done that. But then again, at that time, you know, I felt like I was being aggravated. So you know. I lost my shit. I, I wish I could take it back, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? So I just gotta keep moving and 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 uh, and keep doing my thing and keep making music and keep making money and keep making people feel entertained, making them laugh, cry, think. You understand? Yeah. So are you? Can you? Can you disclose your partners that you're running? You, you're doing AKA TV with? Uh, no, I don't want to disclose them right now. Uh, but it, it, it'll come to light. It'll come to light. Right now, what you need to understand is it's AKA TV dropping this Friday. State of the Megacy Address is happening tonight. Uh, brand new music is coming. I've got a name for the album. I don't know if I, when I should release it. Like the, con the, the concept is, it's more conceptual than, 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 than ever. Um, but I'm really, really excited about the music. I've been working on this album uh, that, that, that I'm going to drop, um, the new one. I think I've been working on it for about two years now, solid. Since when did Touch My Blood come out? 2018, right? Mm, mm. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 so this is is from the time Touch My Blood ended. Well, it, yeah, from the time that album was released until now, it's like two years worth of music. I've probably got about shit. I've got about maybe 25 tracks, 20 tracks, like solid tracks that that I just need to finish and. I want to bring it down to 10. I just want 10 tracks. Just 10. And that's it. You know? We were, I mean, I remember, like, earlier then, we were seeing you, like, posting images with, like, Java, with Malums, you know, and everybody yeah, else. Yeah. I mean, can yeah. we expect to hear anything from, from some some of the guys that you, you, you were posting images with? You know, we know we got you got Flame already. We know we got Shoma Josie. Mm, don't give away all the, the juice, buddy. Don't give away. Oh, all okay. The juice. Let me. Let me. Okay. I, I'm sorry. It's, it's, not, it's not my. Place. Yeah. No. We, you, we, we've got a lot of features, but the thing the, the, the thing with my process is, uh, I I don't like announcing features until the songs are done for sure, and I know they're making it on the uh, they're making it on the album or on the project. So you know the features are definitely there. 
I just don't want to name. I don't like. I also don't li like name dropping because also sometimes when people say, "Oh, who you got featuring on the album?" I could say this person, this person, this person. But the most important person is me. You know, you understand what I'm saying? You don't need to fucking know who's on the album. Just know that yeah. it's my album, and that yeah. it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Is that simple? Yeah. How can I name drop somebody else when you? How that? AKA can't name drop because he's AKA. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Now, all the time you're about to do something big, um, and I'd say like levels was something big for you um, at the time. You always walk the path with Tweezy, you know? Yes, um, I mean, is this like, a, is it almost like, a, yo, we got to, is it, this is big, we got to get a Tweezy on this, or is it like, a, was it an organic thing where it just so happened that the time was right? Well, well, for me, this time, this is also the first album that I'll be making without Master A Flat. Oh, you know for real? Yeah, this is the first album that I'll be doing without Master A Flat. So in, 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 in that, I had to also go start, number one, start chopping samples again myself, start making beats again myself, taking those ideas and then maybe going to Gemini and saying, Gemini, I want, can you do this to it? Or, or Tweezy. So I had to find and, and fill that space with a lot of other people's work. So you'll find that Gemini is all... There's, in fact, there's more Gemini on this project than there is Tweezy. So Gemini is, 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 is all over this project. Tweezy's uh, uh, got a couple records. And then in between that, it's, 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 it's other producers. Um, it's myself. I'm always producing. I've never stopped producing. Just because it means I, I, I actually stopped physically making beats doesn't mean I ever stopped producing. So it's going to be fire, man. It's, 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 how do I explain this album? It's, it's current, man. It's current. It's very, it's very, it's current and forever. You know, uh, it's my take on, look, it's, but it's not an album you're going to hear any drill on, you know, I don't, I, I, it's, you're not going to hear me doing like a song on drill beats. You know, it's not going to be, I'm, it's, you're not going to hear any like pop smoke type of shit on this album from me. But you will hear me in, in, in terms of what I like right now and how I want to sound right now. Uh, and will be something, because my music also ages well, you know? Yeah, mm. so, yeah. one, one question that keeps coming up is that will there be a trial run for the app? You know, are you going to be... The channel. The, channel. The, ch the channel. Oh, the channel, aka TV. Oh, they go, <laughs> they go, they gonna kill me out here. You, you, you guys <laughs> always got gangs out here. Is it, is it gonna yeah, be? Is that, it gonna be a three month trial for the, the aka TV channel? No, no, no. You, 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 you subscribe, buddy. Like get in, like. Man, get in, get in. Get in. You're, you're in, you're in. <laughs> let's get it in. Once you're in, you locked in, and trust me, people are not going to regret. Um, uh, uh, joining the AKA TV uh, uh, channel and the AKA TV family. Remember, once the rules around the lockdown are, are, are let down and brought down, you know, that, that means we can start doing different things. That means I can also start tying my products in, Cruise uh, 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 and, and, and other brands into experiences that we can do. Maybe we allowed 100 people. Maybe I'll do a, a, a studio audience of uh, 20 people. Who, who knows? You know what I'm saying? So... There's, there's many different things that also have to do with the quarantine and the lockdown. If we get down to level two, level three, it also changes the nature of the content um, and, and really changes the nature of the whole entire industry. Can you imagine that the whole music industry is like right now in South Africa, like artists? I'm telling you, man, there's artists who just, just because we artists, you might think that, ah, they've got, you know, they soft and everything is cool. I'm telling you, man, there are so many artists who are living hand to mouth, check to check. If you think about maybe the, the smaller, you know, the smaller Nyana DJs, like they don't have any shows anymore. So I see a lot of people like putting food together and parcels for people. Like think about the, the, the music artists right now. Like now is the time if, if you just spare thought, like it's not going to be easy for artists. It's really not. If you don't have other business ventures and all you were relying on is your shows, you know, sp spare thought for those artists, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. This is, that's a real conversation, man, that's going on. I think I'm having it with a lot of artists who basically are saying that, like, at this point, nothing's happening, including, like, the DJs and everything else. So but there's a case of diversifying, really, yeah. you know?
Yeah. But here's the thing about AKA TV though. Now AKA TV can be the sponsor of the battle that you've been asking for. Boom. So I I've, I've been trying to do I've been trying to do a, a, a battle between myself and LES. All right. Uh, because for me, I wanted, you know, me and LES, we come a long way. We've also got a lot of tracks together. And we want to, um, we wanted to do uh, like a 40, 40 song, like battle, like 40 songs back to back or 30 songs back to back. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's now something that I'll be putting on AKA TV. It won't be on our Instagram. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, if you want to mm. see AKA do any versus battles, you're going to have to tune into AKA TV and that's where it's going to be. I, I mean, even your boxing match can still happen on AKA TV. You hope that it happens. I really hope that it does happen. I mean, I'm sure if AKA TV literally like, um, like um, puts the bill, you know, to pay. I don't think, I don't think AKA TV could, could ever afford to, to, to get behind that venture. That's that's a multi 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 million rand payday, but I don't want to talk about that. Slicker, come on, let's okay. let's get back to the let's get back to the channel. It's just I'm just trying to get people excited on the possibilities of AKA TV. You know, we hyping, we hyping right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm look, getting I'm, people I'm, excited. You know, more, more than anything, I, I'm I'm excited about the possibilities that it means for us and um and and and, and TV channels. You know, like, if you look at a lot of the shows that you see on, on, on TV. Now, I've got friends at these stations, the MTVs and the uh, uh, Traces and the Channel O's. But with all due respect, the shit is not edgy enough. Like, you know, like Drinks Champs. Wouldn't you like to see me sit around and, and get drunk and talk to two other, like, three rappers around the table and, and, and conversate? You'd want to watch that shit, right? Like Drinks Champs, you know, with, like, Nori does. You want yeah, to watch yeah, yeah. Uh, that LeBron James barbershop shit. You want to watch that yeah, type yeah, of shit, right? Yeah, that is not the yeah. programming that we have on TV right now. I think there's a big disconnect between what people actually want to see on TV and what is actually on TV. And I think that AKA TV uh, and, and other types of platforms, like even the one that we're on right now, Slick on, on, on Life, those are the, the vehicles with which people are going to be able to see their artists in different ways. I could never light up a joint on MTV and smoke and perform. But I can do that on my channel because nobody's gonna yeah. fire me. Can't nobody fire me. It's mine. Yeah. If I if I yeah. wanted to if I wanted to uh I could do anything that I want. It, it it's infinite. So I'm just more excited about the possibilities of, of infinity than anything else. Yeah I mean I think that also like you say they all are homies um the traditional platforms. Um yeah. once again you know there's also I, I'm also speaking from, uh, and here's something that I'm, I'm, I'm going to give to you, you know, just for nothing. The money that we're making, or AKA TV is going to be making, even from an advertising, is almost like a new type of investment on mediums. So yes. television, but like it's not as big as what television is making. Because right now, people are out there trying to watch Espire. They're out there trying to watch. So there's still mass content that probably yeah. is not relevant to an audience like um, that's on a Slick on Live or maybe like that, that'll be on AKA TV. So, mm -hmm. but we are developing this new type of audience. So that's why, you know, people like, yo, so AKA has got AKA TV. Don't you feel like, don't you? Feel? I'm like, yo, the more we out there playing, the more yeah. we able, to, the more I'm able to say, oh, so, Here's a slick on life. Here's AKA TV. We are developing this new audience. And now you're speaking with business and they're going, oh, so now you can spread the money around like this. Because you see, if you look at SABC, SABC has got like 20 radio stations, four right. TV channels. DSTV has yeah. got mad channels because they now come in the power of numbers. So tomorrow someone's going to want to do a deal and I'm going to go, yeah, yeah, you can do it on Slick on Life. And, oh, you want to do something on AKTV and vice versa because the more we are actually creating new audiences and new platforms. So the more yeah. of us that are out there, the better. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. That's how people get motivated. You know what 100%, I mean? 100%. I think that, sorry to go back to what I was talking about, Coca-Cola and, and Pepsi. I watched this fascinating documentary the other day with the, the Cola Wars. You should check it out. And what it meant was in the 80s, Coca-Cola and Pepsi were spending so much money 
on their advertising trying to beat each other that they ended up growing the entire soda industry right exactly. so yeah that that touches on what you said the, the harder i go and the harder you go in terms of platforms if we can get more platforms if they can be uh whoever else wants to you know uh, 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 go down this route and also by the way hey if there's any artists out there and you want your own aka tv holla at your boy you know what i'm saying or you want your own show you don't have to go to the channels anymore the channels are right here you know what i'm saying so i mm. i definitely agree with you and 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 in in that the more of us there are the more role players there are the more legit this cuz this is a new industry right it's a new market new industry it's a, it's a new, new audience market. all that money like like durban july you know the durban july is not really is not going to happen right where does all that where's all that money going to go it's got to go somewhere it's got to go somewhere hopefully right here in this pocket over here and in this pocket over here you know what i'm saying that that money has to go somewhere the, the so all the live performance the, the live performance industry that money has to have gone somewhere do you know what i'm saying yeah. so that's 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 basically the thinking another thing i want to stress to people is when you see me on aka tv when you see the super mega show make sure that you understand that this is a show and you're coming to see a show and this is the way shows are going to be for a long long time um the more money we make the bigger we can build the set the bigger we can build the 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 experience that we're giving you i mean you saw that the 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 Travis Scott Fortnite joint right yeah yeah she my son was even telling me about that you know and he like nine years old do you understand what i'm saying do you understand what i'm saying like the Travis Scott Fortnite situation whereby it's about thinking totally out the box now Can you imagine the 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 pro that like the the plugs you have to have you know the 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 developers the the conversations how long it took to put that to put that together we got to start thinking like that you really got to start thinking out the box now artists DJs you got to start thinking out the box now because this whole thing is going to leave you behind if you if you still thinking like oh you know I can't wait to get through this thing man I can't wait to get back on stage bro it's not going to happen So you know we want to get it together. I'm going to ask a question though but like what I wanted to kind of give you uh uh I know you keep on referring to history but like let me with coke but let me also give you uh something that happened now like in the past 20 years. Um you look at like Facebook jumped in first and nobody knew how to what to do with it then Twitter then Instagram WhatsApp. All these guys literally even though they started by different people literally like when a brand says they're going to go spend they say that they're going to spend on social you know yeah, so when yeah. they say that they've got like 50 million on social they say facebook twitter instagram whatsapp yeah the problem with us is that like and this is why i'm saying for me i'm like yo aka tv must come to life because now people got to go we going to spend on culture platforms right there, there has to be a name right. for what they say so when it's, yeah. if it's just like on its own it's we're going to spin it's like but it's just like so is that you know is that mean? the word is that the word you're using for this for this thing culture platforms is that what we whatever we call it well they, we got to we got to have these meetings and we got to give them a name so and we yeah, got to create a rate this, we, we got to create that we're creating right yeah. yeah we it's but, like but, but don't got, you yeah don't you think we you you you, you the, the the truest thing you said this whole time was Man imagine there were 10 aka TVs different ones or 10 different slick on lives I think yeah. I think that would definitely make I think that would definitely make it easier for us to get money Let me it, let me let me because, because big, you see the brands the brands they 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 follow like yo there's 10 of these things now oh my oh my god wake up but me, but and you know besides even that um it's difficult for me to negotiate cuz I'm the only one doing this thing with with business Now if there's a couple of us and we come together and we say guys tools down it's either we moving at this rate or not all of a sudden we have a strong voice now the thing with artists is that that's why artists are always exploited because they don't come together and they don't have a strong voice but if business owners are coming together where you are business owner with your partners I'm a business owner let me just throw in skip on you or whatever but if we but the point is that we we created these things in our generation as black people or whatever yeah. race we want to call ourselves yeah. you must remember that SABC all these things were created by white people for their generation we mm-hmm. are creating for our generation 
in the mm. next 50 years probably or 30 years people are going to say oh that shit is old whatever we doing right now so what we need to do we need to create for our generation but not only create for our generation create the business for our generation so when they mm. literally talking about so when they talk about aka tv or they talk about whoever else whoever else they don't put us like, up against each other but even if they speak to us individually they know that they can't shortcut you with the cost because they can't shortcut me because we've already spoken so that's the problem with yeah. artists. Artists are not business people at most times. So that's why artists can't sit together and work out work things out most of the times. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when business people start coming together, it starts becoming bigger than AKA TV, than Slick on Life, than whatever. It starts becoming a generational revolution of content owners and the guys who we were watching are the ones that created it. You know, yes. because the poor yes. guys who were fighting for whatever they were fighting were the ones that created Eskom and Telkom and SABC. So when all the poor people started seeing they people creating it, they're like, oh, our people are creating. So mm. forget everything. We are creating right now. And the more we come together, that's when, and you called me and you talked about this and you said to me, yo, Instagram, Twitter. And I said to you, Keenan, when I started Slick on Live six years ago, I don't worry about comments on Instagram come youtube likes but that's all that a brand wants a brand and i'm gonna tell you a brand wants engagement from social media cop but i don't worry about that because daily i'm sorry this bird is going crazy man can you hear this bird it's going it's going i can hear it i can hear it (laughs) so 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 what so what i was saying is that i won't really worry about an engagement because daily i'm moving eighteen thousand people to a platform that's literally like that's mine so it's all these things that like for the past six years I've been saying, but I don't benefit anything if I do an exclusive on, on an IG, on a YouTube. And shout out to them. They also hustling. But the truth of the matter is that we shouldn't downplay ourselves just because we're in Africa and we start in small and we don't have like um, Silicon Valley investors or whatever the case be. Do you know what I mean? But on that, let me ask a question. People want to know why aren't you working with Master A Flat on this, on, on this joint, this album? Uh, Master A Flat is doing his own thing. Uh, Master A Flat and me, we, we stopped working. I think about shit was about last year. I, I can't remember. It's been such a blur. Last year, sometime uh, in the middle of last year, I would I would say, uh, or towards the end of last year. And you know, he's just uh, he's just in his own he's in his own world, in his own zone. And he's, I think he released a single recently. Um, but you know, me and Master A Flat, I don't, I don't we, we're not on the best of terms right now. Um, how that goes you know he, he'll always be someone that's very special to me in terms of what we achieved not just in music but as 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 as, as a brother you know um you know he I, i've always viewed him as a younger brother and sometimes in families you know you, you might go through periods where you don't speak to your brother for a year it shit happens man you know what i mean yeah. um so i mean we know that yeah, I mean, if it's mendable, that's good. You know, I all I wanted to show is that, like, okay, Tweezy, Master A flat, you know, all these things are mendable. You you always come back. You know, I I'm assu- I'm assuming also you are you're not the easiest person to work with. You know, and no, not in a definitely. bad way. Why, why, why would make you, you think that, Slicker? What would make you think that? Because I've been on I've, I've been on a call. Okay. Yeah, I've been on a call with you, and I kept quiet, and I listened, and I said, and you're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, imagine working with this guy in the studio and you've been creating like, no, how about that? You know what I mean? No, nah, it's, so it it's always, it's always uh, you know, I've got a lot of passion. I've got a lot of energy and it takes a certain type of person to, to work with me, you know? I've, I've tried to work with a lot of artists and, you know, although I might be a fan of that artist, we just didn't click on, on whatever level. And, you know, that's why maybe we don't have music or, you know, it, 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 artistry is not a science. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not maths. So. Yeah. 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 Man, it's incredible, man. We're looking forward for AKA TV. And, um, and now you are busy doing your, your announcement during our. Yes. Tonight. On, yeah. Tonight we're calling it the, the, the state of the, the, the state of the legacy address. It's going to be this evening, 7 PM. Uh, I'm obviously going to do it on my IG live, uh, before, before, um, before we launch AKA TV on Friday. So, God are you to gonna? That. Are you gonna? Are you gonna tell your? Are you literally gonna tell people um, um, your your 
the purpose of your moving? Um, what what is in the speech? You know, normally when the state of nation address or oh, a legacy, we know are we talking about budget? What are we talking about tonight? We talk, we're talking about the legacy as a country. So imagine the legacy as a nation. You understand? So the legacy mm -hmm. is a nation, and I, I I want to give you a state of the nation of the legacy address. Let you guys know where I am mentally. Uh, let you guys know where I am musically, where I am spiritually, um, and and really, really bring home the idea behind the app. Um, fuck the channel. Fuck. Yo, the, it's the channel, be <laughs> AKA TV. Come on, wake up, wake the, up. The the the, the, the channel, um, the state of 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 the game, um, and and maybe kind of also bring it to a a a, a, a larger audience. Uh, the legacy, the nation of the legacy in terms of just give them an insight as to what's going on in the music industry and where we're actually going uh, in the music industry uh, in South Africa, period. Um, because like I said, I think a lot of people are under the illusion that we're going back to the same world that we came from, but we're not. Never. Yeah. Never, bro. Never. Yes, it's sir. not happening. You know? And, I mean, that's great, man. And it's great. It's going to be powerful coming from you. And this is what we've been trying to preach, you know, that like... Um, the game ain't got, this is like we are, I was, I, I was with them for good two shoes yesterday and I was just saying, um, we are currently on the journey to the new normal. The, the shock yeah. is over now. Now it's the journey. Now you prepare yourself for the new normal. It's yeah. literally like now you are walking, you don't know what the new normal is like, but like mm. now just don't be too attached to anything because you are moving towards the new normal. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I mean, I mean, it'll be dope, man. I think you need to really get that that state of state of address out there. You know yeah, what I mean? the state the state of the legacy, summer, summer, twenty twenty. Tell me something, <laughs> Kim. If when you when you leave the game, when you're done with the game, um, and you're not on these stages anymore, what what do you want people to remember about you? When I'm done with the game. Yeah, and I'm sure you would have. I'm already, your I'm already done with the game. I'm done with the, with the game. I'm already done with the game. What are you talking about? There ain't no more stages, baby. There ain't no more stages. It's a whole new game. I'm done with the game. No, um, I, I want people to remember me for... Hmm. I want people to remember me for... Hmm. I want people to remember me for my performances, for how good, how, for, for the experiences that I gave them, the experiences that I gave people, um, the shoes, uh, the, the, you know, the AKA sneaker, the, the watermelon, uh, the, the, the touch my blood and the levels and the live shows and the high, the highs and the lows, the controversies, all of those things are experiences. I want people to remember me for the experiences of life that I gave them. That's a good answer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess now moving into um, AKA TV, you, you, you're going to create more new experiences for the next 10 years, yeah? For forever, forever. And AKA TV, the, the, the most exciting thing also about AKA TV is that there will be other AKA TVs because of AKA TV. Yeah, yeah. I think that the minds are going to be more open, though. Um, for me, it's not even about the artists literally, like, um, creating more AKA TVs. It's yeah. about the consumer. It's about the consumer understanding that, like, you know, um, I don't need to be on Instagram. You yeah. know, I, I'm more concerned about the consumer because the, the faster the consumer gets educated, the faster we push ourselves to be innovative. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and the more they are open to go, oh, that's a new thing. I'll spend money for that, you know? Yeah. So for me, I think that like the, the, the quicker we have a progressive consumer that's ready, that's ready to grow, the faster we, be, the faster we become. Because for me, I would go do a, a Slick On Life TV app. But I think about things like, I'm, I'm gonna think about all the barriers of data where like I'm going, when the hell are the networks gonna come to the table? 
and start yeah. investing in the future of the kids that are in that are interested in content you yeah. can't be busy selling advertising like it's 20 years ago with the tv ad with the billboard start partnering with the guys who are actually i'm i was saying you know what this lockdown is proven it's proven who the real content creators and who the real people who give a fuck about creating content versus people who just always do it just for, for clout yeah you know because yeah, yeah. no one is paying us to keep working yeah you know yeah. no one's paying us to keep doing what we're doing to do this shit over here you know what mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. so so I think that, like, you know, it's the consumer moving with us. And so our argument is stronger. And they can actually start committing to the things that we're doing. You know what I mean? Um, I saw a post the other day where someone was going, um, hip-hop artists are busy beefing while gospel or traditional artists are, are delivering packets. And, and I don't want to defend us or whatever, but I just said, you must remember that gospel fans buy music. Traditional music, they fill up those stadiums. They're consistently there for their artists. So the artists can always go back. Where in the hip hop, like mostly it's the dependency of brands or whatever the case be, you know what I mean? So it's all those things that our fans need to grow with us, but a lot of them are also young. So we also need to create a world where they can get jobs and they can have money because a lot of them also are still depending on their parents also, you know what I mean? So it's almost like we need to create these possibilities of hope. So our fans who are young, who are aspirational can go, I'm going to try work at AKT and do this as an intern, but maybe I could build it so it could maybe make money. You know what I mean? We've got to open mm -hmm. up these kids' minds because these new ideas are also creating new job opportunities that have never been there and new type of interns who can literally create, like the new Puff Daddies, like Andre Harrell was doing his thing for down Motown and there was a Puff Daddy there who was working as an intern and look at what Puff Daddy became. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So these companies, what you guys, what you guys are doing, what we're doing, Slick on Life, we literally like building for the pub daddies that are coming. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So anyway, yeah, well, it's a real thing. Though. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I feel, I, I feel you, and I just also wanted to say, uh, this is an interview is an hour, right? I gotta roll. Yeah, 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 yeah it's gonna be an hour. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I just gotta say, you know, big up to you. Uh, for seeing it before it was seen, you know, you definitely, you definitely saw where this thing was going, you know, um, and and I just, you know, it's kind of funny. You you pioneered, you pioneered me wanting to rap, and then you also pioneered me wanting to app. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you if you think about it, you're always kind of on that curve for me. So you know, if I look at my career, I look at like Squatter Camp and myself. And then I look at, you know, Slick On Life and AKA TV. And it's kind of funny how things kind of work out, you know? So. Yeah. Okay. Yo, yes, shout out to you, man. Keep, it, keep going, man, and keep doing your thing. You know what I mean? Thank you, and, sir. Um, Thank you. Yeah, man. And, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll see you, man. I guess there's no more. So no more explosions on Twitter. I know now you're going to use social media just to press the button. You know, please define what pressing the button is. <laughs> no, I, I'll be. <laughs> I'll be pressing people's buttons. I've always pressed people's buttons, not just on Twitter. It, it, it's it's gonna be on AK. If 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 you wanna if you wanna if you wanna have your buttons pressed, come come to AK TV. You know, come to go to your Twitter, go to my account. Like I'm a walking, living, breathing button presser and pusher. You know, I it's just in my character, and I, I think that's why people resonate with me because I'm not scared to be imperfect and I'm not scared to lose my shit and I'm not scared to, you know, just be myself. So people, people will, will still see me on Twitter here and there on Instagram here and there, but AKA TV is where it's at. And, uh, on Friday, uh, the journey begins. It's a new era. The journey begins on Friday tonight, 7 PM on my Insta live. Make sure you check in the state of the legacy address. It's going down. And yo, shout out to, to Slick On Life and Viva AKA TV. Shout out, shout out to your mom. This is also here. There's only, I'm, I'm only going to mention a bunch of people jumped on, but shout out to your yep. moms also. Yeah. Hey, man. Um, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Yo, and Abduce was talking about, like, um, just in closing, Abduce was just talking about how he met you, um, or you guys won an award together, and he was calling somebody, and 
you guys were downstairs and you were also calling your mom and you're like, you won all the awards and everything else, you know. And he was like, wow, I've never seen AKA like that, you know. He said, you know, so he was really like singing your praises yesterday. I was speaking to him. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and, you know, he's pretty dope also. So shout out, I man. Think, for I think that thing. Uh, thank you very much. Shout out to Abdus, man. I mean, I remember he was, uh, where was that? Which awards was that? Hype Awards, maybe? Or something hip Hop. Like I think it was the, 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 the Essay Hip Hop Awards. Essay Hip Hop Awards. Yeah, man. I mean, as you can see, these are all my babies. Let me show you all my babies. Let me show you all Let's my go. babies. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Some of them are broken. So this is my Essay Hip Hop Award over here, 2015 Most Valuable. Uh, best Collab. Uh, album of the Year. Best Male. Best digital, best valuable, best video, most valuable, uh, milestone. Let me go over here. Best digital, most mm. valuable, a video of the year. That's a metro I got for. What's this? Best hit single. There we go. Best newcomer. That's a hype award. This is my first one. It's behind there. Can you see? That's my first one. Yeah. Best yeah, newcomer. Yeah, yeah. This I won at the Cotton Fest, at the Cotton Fest Invitational. First place, yes, sir. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's my that's my that's my MTV award. It's my only MTV award. Uh, then I got my Channel O's. A lot of these awards broke as well. Um, then I got what else? Oh, Cosmos, Cosmos, sexiest man. Shout out to Cosmo. They shut down. Damn. What else? Best dressed, GQ. Then I got my Metros over here. I got my summers over here. Uh, what's this one? Uh, male artist. Uh, 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 best street street urban. Remember that whole controversy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all a facade. It's all a facade. <laughs> uh, free mug. I got my Nickelodeon right here. Uh, have, yeah, you, man, have, so have, have, have you taken down all the posts? Have you taken down all the posters at your crib that you say keep on? giving you the pressure and, and all these yeah, awards. Man, Have you I, taken I, the steps to so the garage? Because, <laughs> yeah, I've got plaques just like laying around and on my wall. And I've been thinking about taking them down so that I can just like not deal